Alright everybody, so this is basically how you're going to be able to enter in products into Virtumart. So I already have this set up, here's the front page, I'm using Sunrise as a demonstration. So you go to your back end, you obviously know how to log in there, you just go to your site administrator, and then you log in through your back end, and then you go to your components, and you hover down to Virtumart. Once you get into Virtumart, it takes you to your control panel. And the only thing you really need to worry about, because most of the time your categories are already set up, um, and if anybody has a question about categories, just uh, leave a comment below, and I'll get into that later, which is really easy. But uh, to set up your products, you click Products. And as you can see, there's two products in here now, but let's just go ahead and put a new product in. So we're going to put a new product. And so we're just going to use any SKU right now. So I'm just going to put one, two, three, four in there for your SKU. And we're going to call this a test product. And excuse my microphone. Um, my other microphone isn't working, so I'm using my microphone off the laptop. So it doesn't really sound all that great. But these are your basic things you need to put in. So you need to put in your product SKU, product name. The alias will automatically go there. Don't worry about your URL. Uh, if you wanted to make it a featured product or non-featured product, you would click, you know, this to make it featured or not. But um, just for this demonstration, you don't have to worry about that. Um, put in your cost price here. So let's just say it's 25 bucks, right? Um, and you want to make it available for all shopper groups, um, unless you have a specific group that you're going to sell to. But um, that's more of like an advanced type of thing, and I don't think you're really going to need it for right now. So um, we'll just deal with this for now, the basics. Um, so you put your cost price in, it's 25 bucks. Don't worry about this stuff, it'll all get worked out once you push save. Um, child products, don't worry about that either. We're not going to need this for this example. Um, the other thing you're going to really need to remember to, to do is be able to choose your product category and you just click over here and luckily in Virtumart 2 they actually have it set up so you can do this really easy. Virtumart 1 it was kind of a pain in the butt the way they had it with drop downs and it would take forever but this actually has a way to do it pretty simply. So in this one we're just going to use it under time pieces just because that's my demo area I've been using so you click time pieces and if you let's just say you had a product that crossed um, let's say uh, you had two different products that did, did two different things but worked under two different categories you could easily simply just click here again and add it into another product uh, category but for this example we're just going to use it in one so uh, don't really have to worry about the manufacturer unless you're using like a manufacturer type of thing but um, in this particular environment we're not really using that so don't worry about that um, so that's the basic setup for your um, for your product you know setting your product up um, the next part is is your description so you go in here um, I always leave nothing in the short description only because that ends up being in the category page which would be this page right here it'll put a little like like a little note underneath the actual product itself and, and it would say something about it but most of the time my clients don't actually need that they they just want to have it inside the actual page part itself so that's where that goes so I wouldn't worry about this one but here's your actual description this is for the actual page on the inside so like for instance in this product um, it has it down here with the description so it takes care of this description right there so we're just gonna put a test 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 if you wanted we can put bullet points in there or numbers or uh, whatever you want to do let's put bullet points in there for now um, and so that's what you have to you know put in there uh, you can also put in, if you needed to, put in keywords or a description. It's all up to you. Um, also, if you wanted to put in, uh, let's just say you had like another picture um, that was a little bit different and didn't fit into the other pictures, you can add an image here uh, that goes into here. Um, but for the most part, you're not going to really be doing that. 
you'll end up putting product images uh, in through here, through through this um, area right here under product images. So um, in this case, what I did is I made the thumbnail for the default image uh, that's you know not there. Um, this particular one. Um, in other cases, you won't have that. It'll have a uh, like a little gray box that says image is not here. Um, but I changed that just for this particular uh, site. So um, that's what it looks like if you don't have anything. Um, so to change that, you would just go down here to your browse and you click browse and we pick up the, uh, you know, pick the folder that you want to find it in and stuff. And then you just grab whatever picture you're going to use. So in this case, I'm going to use that one. And other than that, you just click save. Now, save keeps you on the page. It doesn't close anything out. It just keeps you on the page. Um, puts you back here. And as you can see right up here, it says that it's been uploaded. That it was successfully done. That's uploaded. So if you go back to product images, there's your product image. Nice looking watch. Um, and so what we're going to do is we're gonna actually going to add in a couple of more pictures here. Um, just for the sake of it because there's a part to this that I want to show you that um, when you add more pictures uh, there's something that you can do that's pretty cool um, so now we have two pictures in there and if let's just say we go back to our category which is under timepieces we'll have our test product here all right it's 20 25 bucks we click the test product and here's what it looks like. So here's your watch. Here's the second picture of the watch, and then here's your description. So you click this, and it takes you to your other watch. Um, and if you notice right here, there's no drop-down menu or anything. Or anything. It just has a uh, quantity. Um, ask the seller or ask a question about the product to the seller. Or add it to cart. Yada yada yada. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to put a drop-down in here that changes it from from color to color so this one's black this one's white let's put a blue one in there just for the sake of it so we'll put this blue one in here same thing click save <clears throat> and so now you have a blue one in here um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go down here to edit image information and where it says displayed image subtitle we're going to type in black because that is the black band for the watch and then we're going to go to this white one do the same thing we're going to type in white and for this blue one it's more like turquoise, but blue enough for me. Um, we're typing blue. Okay, so let's just make sure everybody saved in there. And actually, they didn't. So I guess the uh, real correct way of doing this is let's type in black, and then click save, and then we'll click the white one. Click save. And then we'll click the blue one or turquoise to be politically correct. And then we'll click save. Okay, and so this one says black. Let's make sure this one says it should say white. White. This one says blue. Okay, so how we make this. See what we're going to do now. So let's take a look at the front end because everybody's saved. We'll look at the front and see what it looks like. Okay, so you so you see that it just has the black, it has the white, it has the blue pictures, but it still doesn't have a drop down um, to change it. So our, our basic idea of what we want to do is we want to make this change. So when you hit add to cart, it goes into cart into the cart with the particular color that you want. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to custom fields, right? And I've already set this up. Um, if it, this is uh, like a new virtual mart. Um, one, you're going to probably have to set up your custom fields 
um, in the custom field area. But for this particular case, it's already set up. So we're going to click color. So it already makes one here. And it already has black because that's the default. So we're going to hit another color because there's three of them. So we're going to have three in here. And in this particular case, this product, it just has a different color band. So it's not going to cost anything extra. So we're just going to leave the price at zero. Right. And we're going to change. There's black. There's white. Right. And then there's blue. So now we're going to save this. Now what we've basically done is we've associated these values that are in this field right here to this value right here. So now everybody's saved. Let's go back here. We're going to reload this. And if you notice now, see under the color, you have a black. And you also have white and blue. So we click white. It switches it to white. We click blue, it switches it to blue. So now when we add it to the cart and we show the cart, now it's blue and it shows the color blue. And then when you check out, it actually comes in blue. So that's basically how it act, that, that part of it works. So that's adding a product and allowing the product to switch from color to color. Um, you could do this for lengths, let's say, like, um, if you're selling, um, I don't know, like a, a belt or something, and it comes in different sizes, you, and it costs, let's say, the same price or even a little bit more, you could uh, variate it from um, size to size by doing the same thing. It works really well with colors. Uh, if you're selling t-shirts and you have a particular logo um, and you're switching the color from red, blue, purple, orange, green, you can do the same thing. It's really simple and it's really effective. Um, so that ends our demonstration of how to do that in this video. Um, there will be more to come.